So I think whenever we're trying to come up with a new world and, you know, Fallout being in this new world that was, was getting created, particularly by Tim Kaine and Jason Anderson and Leonard Boyarsky, they were really trying to figure out what this special sauce was. What was the thing that was going to make it feel like something different? We had a fantastic team. What I did was I would stay at work after hours in a conference room and I'd order pizza and I'd tell people if they wanted to come to the conference room after they were done with their work, we could talk about games. Tim Kaine, who was the producer slash lead producer slash game director at the time. He knew that he wanted to make an RPG where the player had a lot of choice in what they did. And we, I think as a group, came up with the idea that you could talk or fight or uh, steal your way through the whole game, which was kind of a revolutionary idea in those days. I shall believe you for now. Now, the thing about Leonard is he's kind of a dark guy. Everything's kind of gloomy. So I told him, I said, if we make this game, I don't want it to be all depressing. There's got to be a, a humor to it. And that turned out to be something he calls the special sauce, because we ended up with this world that's funny, but very morbidly funny. I had this really long drive back and forth to work. One day, I'm like, it would be a really good idea to make this kind of like a, an idealized 1950s future that an apocalypse happened to it. One day he said, what if we did what the 1950s thought the future was going to be like? So big robots and flying cars and just all kinds of insane atomic powered things. And he really wanted to do that. And I have to admit at first, I was like, I don't get it, but let's see where, where this goes. And I'd say within six months, everybody got it, and they loved it. The juxtaposition of, of, of the kind of the innocence of the 50s with the violence that was going on. It was this sense of sort of comedic irony, I think, in the end, and it would create what would seem awful a lot of times, but it would kind of make you laugh. Oh, ho, don't get carried away there, big fella. 